and clear. It's been a couple months since I last saw you. Yep. You had an extraordinary uh, first couple levels uh, today, right? Very good. Did you start with 5,000 in chips? 5,000. And then what do we have to, like 140? 130. 130. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Um, combination, I, I got a pretty good table draw, and um, there was just spots coming my way. I was, I was seeing spots really well. Uh, just a, a couple good uh, shove spots, open shove spots, which got me to a point where when I got a double up, I actually was over 20 big blinds. And then um, I was able to get a couple big hands that got paid off on. I got max value on, on in a couple spots and just kind of yeah. took the momentum and ran with it. That's great. Yeah. Nice combination of luck and good cards. And 100%. Would you say bad players or just... No, uh, there was, there, there was <laughs> one questionable play where somebody called me with 10s when there were two over guards to the board and I had aces. So um, I was actually... Uh, I was trying to uh, get value out of the hand without also trying to see where he was at in the hand. Um, it just it was a, a lot of raising preflop, so it was very likely that he could have had a set if he was giving me action. So I had to be careful. Right. But then he, he checked it to me twice, and so I knew he didn't have a big hand. And I thought I was going to get paid off with kings. He ended up calling with two tens, which was which was pretty bad. That was the one time when I got I got lucky because I, yeah, I got involved with a bad player. Spot, yeah. So. Um, and it could it, and it can always go either way. In that. Of course. Um, if he had snapped and had just been slow playing a set, then I, I would be back to where I started the day. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. Now I, I watch you play, and I notice you have this like intense stare that you give your opponents. That's true. Is that part of the strategy, or can you just not help that? No, I think I can't <laughs> help it. Everyone always says it, and I, I tend to think I'm pretty friendly at the table, but people say otherwise. People say I'm just intimidating and I'm like bullying everybody, but I don't. I'm just concentrating, and I guess I. I don't smile as much as I thought that I did. So. And you're a nice guy, too. <laughs> I try, sometimes. So you live in New York, right? Mm -hmm. So what's this Kentucky? Did you go to Kentucky? Oh, uh, no, I, I grew up in Kentucky. I moved to New York okay. when I was 18. So uh, once a Kentucky fan, always a Kentucky right. fan. Right, and you're kind of back in the South. Yeah. Kentucky's the Well, kind of. This is like the deep South. It is the deep South. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we are literally in the middle of the South. Yes. Have you had any um, fried chicken, fish, beef? No, vegetables. I had, I had some yeah. shrimp, and that's about it. Fried shrimp, though. Yeah. Okay, that's, good. That's about it. I, I would be kind of disappointed if it were sautéed or broiled. Yeah. Well, like, well southern southern cooking is is my one weakness. I tend to eat healthy, oh, but me that too. one that one is the good stuff. Me too. And Granny's the best at it, though. Oh, your grandma? Mm -hmm. She's in Kentucky. So what's up next for you after, well, obviously you have a, a ways to go in this one, but thinking ahead for 2011, are we going to see you at LAPC or? I'll be, I'm going to go to the Borgata straight after this. And, a lot of um, are. Yeah, and then I'll play that event. And then hopefully I get a little time, go back to New York and, you know, take a, take a little break, see some friends, you know. Get, get your cold on. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then I'll be back in uh, the heat again for LA and be tired of the winter again. Exactly. So I'll be well-timed. All right, good. Well, good to see you again. Yeah, you too.